What's up guys, it's Nacho here and welcome back to another Transfer Society video. Since you guys loved the first Transfer Society video and you know you really got involved and you know your comments and also your tweets were really appealing. A couple of you guys were tweeting me and commenting me saying you didn't really talk about AC Milan, what they've done the transfer window. Well Liam, thanks for putting that in the comments. Um shout out to you. Um yeah, I want to talk about AC Milan. Starting it off, AC Milan have absolutely destroyed the transfer. Just went and absolutely went spitballing the transfers. They have literally just went, I want him, I want him, I want him. And since they have the new Chinese owners, which, um, you know, since Mr. Bunga 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 Man per Berlusconi is gone, so that means that Chinese new investors came in, but the club will. To go with the club, and now look more and more and more. Can they win the Scudetto? Can they even win the? I think they right now have a chance of fighting for the Champions League places if they keep doing what they're doing. Now, the signings they brought in, I think there's a lot of good signings. They brought in then Andre Silva from Porto. I think he's an absolute. Every saying he's the next breakout star in Portuguese football, and he looks for me a lot like Nuno Gomes. Still a lot of work to get to his ability, but he's got so much potential of doing it. But Rodriguez from from Wolfsburg, another good signing, and another. No, I was really surprised actually. He he was still at Wolfsburg. I thought he should he could go to a big club like an Arsenal or a Liverpool. But he went to AC Milan, which are a massive club. They bought him Barini. That was the one I think to myself. Why did you bring in Barini? Barini, who fucking is shit as hell. You only get him on loan deal, but anyway. You get Bruni, who I hate more than life. And they also get Charanoglu, another good signing, and another good quality signing. He's got creativity. I want the most surprised by the and get rid of him because it just didn't work for him. So it looks like they're going to get Bellucci. 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 From Juventus. They're going to bring in an absolute mountain of a centre back. Absolutely incredible from, from AC Milan. They have just smashed the transfer window this summer. And they're still looking players. They're out, what I'm hearing is looking to get rid of Sanchez on loan, an option for 35 million buy. They really are not making a fake. They are literally just going in like a woman on deep foot. Going in like a motherfucker. So that's AC Milan and the signings they brought in, and it's only going to get better and better and better for AC Milan. So, yeah. Watch that space. Can AC Milan win? Scudetto? Yeah, put in the comments down below, guys. Do you think AC Milan are not just major forces in the Champions League places, but can they fight with Juventus, Napoli and Roma for Schiato? I really like to know. Another deal that's going on, Pepe is now going to Besiktas. Um, I'm not surprised, but actually I am surprised with that because I just thought he was going to PSG. He was thought he was going to go to Paris Saint-Germain. He went to Besiktas. A PSG, a PSG player that does go to, I'm saying, a player that does go to PSG is Danny Alves. He was linked with Manchester City and everybody thought, oh, he's going to City. Good, he's reunited really, really with Pep Guardiola. Didn't really happen. He, he obviously found Paris is much, I don't know, better than Manchester. Maybe because of the weather, I don't know, or lifestyle. So yeah, there you have a PSG. I think it's a two-year deal. Yeah, Fabio is back at Barcelona. And many times this man has been three signed from Barcelona, and yet, why I don't? Why is Barcelona? I mean, this is a man who can get there in last season, and then somehow, some way. Went to AC Milan and he couldn't get an AC Milan team. And Barcelona think, wow, well, we don't have him because he's good enough for Barcelona. And yeah, he couldn't get an Everton team and the AC Milan team. So is he good enough for Barcelona? I don't think he is. Is he one of the worst signings? Is he probably one of the top five worst signings in this transfer window? Maybe he is. I think he is. I think he is anyway. Kyle Walker is now the world's most expensive. Expensive defender, 50 million fucking pound. Fucking hell. For a fullback is a lot of money, and, and then English full English players are just expensive as fuck. They're, I mean, they literally go boom, da dun. Uh, but is this a good signing? Yes. Is Kyle Walker 50 mil? No chance for me. He's worth at least half that. Uh, not maybe half that. Well, very around 30 mil, maybe, but he's not worth, not close to 50. No chance. You're, you're talking about Kyle Walker up there, 50 freaking million. I mean, he 50 million. What the fuck is Mendy? Who's been sensational for fucking Monaco? 
Where what about the halfway fullbacks in the in all time? You know, it's it's he's not worth fifty mil. He's not worth fifty mil. But again, English English players are so expensive. I think this is what Man City looking for. They need they need pace. They need another dimension to their game, and Kyle Walker does give them that. But it's time to tell if um, if he is worth fifty mil. Because look at John Stones last summer, didn't work for him at all. So we have to watch out now. Barry Oko is now at Chelsea for forty million. I think this is a great signing, which I think means Matic is going to go to either Manchester United or Inter Milan. Um, if I had to put a pound, if I had to say where he's going to go, I think he's going to go to Manchester United. And that will probably mean what we'll, we'll do. What will that do for Herrera and Fellaini? Would that mean those two are at the door? Those two are at the door. So we have to see in that one. But for me, Barry Oka looks a really good prospect. And you think you got him and Canty in that midfield? I tell you one thing. It's going to take a fucking bulldozer to get past those two in that midfield. Man, well, anyone. So it, it, I think Matt Chelsea still need the, the whole cost situation. So I mean, they sorted out. But they really are definitely need. Kneeling down players now, and maybe this is going to be um, the start for Chelsea trying to at least challenge. We're also going to Premier League again. No teams are defending the Premier League since Manchester United way back in 2009. But to challenge for the Champions League places, uh, to, to challenge for the Champions League um, next next season, so this season, it's going to be interesting for Chelsea. Um, well, can they get more signs in? We'll have to wait and see. Nolito is back at, is back in La Liga with Sevilla, eight million fee. He didn't like the weather in his uh, in Manchester. He is he was whinging and moaning all the time. Guess what? You're back in 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 uh, La Liga. You're at Sevilla. Just so stop whinging and fuck off. And the two deals that are sort of question marks beside him is Sigerson and Morris. Start off with some, with Sigerson. Swansea, I put a fifty million come come at me, please and get me. Uh, sort of. Um, Everton have had two bids rejected for Sigerson. I think it was 30, 30 mil. I think it was thirty five mil and forty mil. Now it looks like they're going to put a third bid for forty six million. Can they bite on that, Swansea? I don't think they will. Fifty million. I don't think Sigerson's even worth fifty mil. Like I said with Kyle Walker, Premier League players are so fucking overpriced. It's ridiculous. Sigerson fifty million. You're kidding me, kidding me! I mean, to put it into perspective, how fucking expensive Sigerson is, guess how much? And I had to Google this, it's fucking mind boggling. Guess how much? Hazard. He wasn't cost 50 mil, he cost Chelsea 40, so he cost Chelsea right now like 38 mil. And yet, it's just the way football is, it's fucking ridiculous. So. 50 million for Sigerson, yes Sigerson's a good player, I think he's worth 30, nowhere near 50, I mean that's, you were talking world class, and he is playing for a bang average Swansea team, come on man, I mean you could say he's the reason why Swansea didn't re relegate, really yes that's true, but the fact of the matter is, will he make everything better, yes he will, does that mean Barkley's going to go, if he's out the door, if Sigerson's coming in, does that mean Barkley's going out the door, maybe, I think he is, I don't think Barkley has a future at everything, and I think he'll go to Tottenham, Eric Barkley. But anyway, enough about Barkley. I think Sigerson will go to Everton. It will probably be around, around the 50 mark. And he will definitely. Everton, just like AC Milan, they're a major force, not just in the Champions League. I think they're a major force for this Premier League title this season. Everton, I really do. I like their team. I like their team a lot. And the other one is Morris. Now, um, Leicester have had a big objective for Morris around. 25 million, Leicester want 36 million for Morris, and I think uh, Roma will buy Morris. I think they had the money because of the Salas deal with, with the Salah um, sale, which was around 30 something mil. They have 30 mil in, in, in their bank, sort of. Roma, I think they will get Morris, and I think he is going to be a really good man. So they want to Morris wants to play Champions League football. Roma are in the Champions League. Roma are, if not, the only. They have a better chance of winning the league than Leicester. Unless I'm fucking wrong again. Hopefully not. But I think Morris will leave Leicester. I don't think he'll stay. And the last one to talk about is Aguero. This is the one that's been. Um, this deal has just come out of nowhere in the last couple of hours. Um, yeah, Aguero could be going to Chelsea. 
Wow, there's this. I never saw that coming. I didn't know this transponder is more unbelievable than the least. But I never saw that coming. Um, will, Guero, will Manchester City sell their best striker? And he is still their best striker. Probably one of the best strikers in the Premier League to arrive on. No. They won't. But I, just, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it. Because if you sell Aguero to match, if you sell Aguero to Chelsea, then A, you must be bringing in one of the best strikers in the world in terms of, uh, you must have some, you must have a player up your sleeve, Man City, or you just want Chelsea, you're actually just pretty much to give Chelsea our tail. Because that's what, the, that's what it is, he is world class of world, but for Man City to sell their best player, probably the greatest player they've ever had, to their rival team, I don't see that happen. Uh, a lot of Chelsea supporters are really hyped about this, I don't, I mean, Calm down, I think you guys have a better chance of saying Rana, and you guys have a chance of saying the Aguero. So I think that deal has no chance of happening. Now we're on to the top 5 transfer targets. Aguero, like I just said, I don't think that deal will happen, but I, it, it's a transfer window. I've seen weirder stuff happen over the past number of seasons in, the, in, in, the, in transfers. I didn't... I, I'd seen progress up to Man United and transfer down there. I didn't think that would happen, I did. So. Anything enough. The other one is number two is Sanchez. Now Alexis Sanchez is Alexis Sanchez, not Rivera Sanchez. You could say both Sanchez, but anyway. Uh, Alexis Sanchez, is he gonna stay at Arsenal? Well at the minute Arsenal are gonna put a new contract on the table for two hundred and seventy thousand a week. Uh, a lot of money, but if he goes but if 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 Sanchez goes to City, <coughs> he'll get three hundred thousand a week. If he goes to Bayern Munich, he gets three hundred and fifty thousand a week. So but Bayern Munich aren't, aren't, because I think Bayern Munich, they, they have the, the money to pay his wages, but the thing is, they don't have, they don't think um, Sanchez is worth, let's say, 60 million. And they also got Hans Rodriguez, so I don't really think they need Sanchez right now. You could say they do, I think they do, but I, I don't think you go to Manchester City, because Arsenal, well, you could say, was with Van Persie, the best player Van Persie back then. Two man, two of Manchester club, Manchester United. I mean, it's a totally different. I think Sanchez, because of Van Persie come to the end of his career, Sanchez is only at his peak now. So, I, if I'm a better man, I don't see Sanchez leaving Arsenal. I, 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 I see Sanchez leaving Arsenal. I don't see Sanchez leaving Arsenal for Manchester City. Perisic has been angry with him all summer long for Manchester United. I mean, this is number three. This deal will happen and it looks like Artie Martial could be in on, in on a deal as well as a swap deal with 30 something mil. I mean, my Ned, who always get their man, they don't know, they, they do it every summer. We already thought they had no chance of saying Papa, they had no chance of saying Lakaku, they got those two deals, they will get Perisic. That for me will happen very soon. Lakaku, who has had a sensational season at Crystal Palace, but Crystal Palace can't afford him, and now Liverpool are not put him in the freaking pre season tournament over in Asia. So he don't think it's going to find our club. Now, I know this is a long shot, and it may not happen in a month of fucking Sundays, but one club that I feel should take Sacco and may, I literally just go and get him is Newcastle. Yes, I think my club should get him. I, I think you could say, well, oh, hold on a minute, Newcastle, yeah, going to Sacco, him goes to Newcastle, and there's not a step. And it's, no, it's not. You're playing one of the best managers in the world, in Rafa Benitez. Newcastle United are trying to establish themselves as a fold again. So, that, I think Sacco would be a sensational signing. It, it, it may cost over 20 million. I don't give a damn. I would have him right now. If, it, if, if Rafa is looking to get him, I think they should. And I see. I also think other clubs should get him as well. I think, for instance, Everton could easily get him. But I feel like Newcastle, for me, should jump on this deal. Again. And the last one to talk about is Van Dijk. Now he has been linked with Liverpool all summer long, and he's now top night. Um, Sam was saying, you know, he's up for sale unless you pay 60 million, which is a lot of money. But is Van Dijk worth 60 million? You're fucking damn right, he is worth 60 million. He is one of the brightest talents coming out, not just in Southampton, not just in the Premier League but in world football at this moment in time. He is a sensational centre back and the fact of the matter is he's went from Celtic who, you know, is a Celtic are a good club. They're a good, they're really a good run club. They always find a way of getting 
you know, the next your next star or the next of Victor Mayama, the likes of Van Dijk, now Dembele at Celtic. So they always get they always do bring in the next breakout star. I think Van Dijk could easily play for Barcelona. He could easily play for Liverpool. He can play for any world class team if they put the money on the table. Is worth sixty mil. You damn right worth sixty mil. And he's if not one of the best young prospects coming out in the world today. In the comments down below. What you guys think of the transfer so far? Do you think it's been sensational? Do you think uh, what our clubs should be bringing in, um, in in the summer? Do you think some clubs have been not saying like Tottenham haven't seen that bloody player so far in the summer? What do you guys think? Put in the comments down below. Really, really want to get your opinion on this. So yeah, please like, subscribe, and that's all. Is that?